And we've heard it a million times, cutting out sugar from our diets is healthier for us and it'll also help us lose a little weight. But that's also easier said than done. So this morning, we are here in the Apt Kitchen. We're learning how to make delicious recipes using sugar alternatives. And here to tell us more is nutrition and fitness expert, Ashley Pettit. So how are you? I'm good. How are you? How's that little 10-month-old baby girl? She is running me ragged. Yeah? <laughs> Which is why you need I need sugar. natural sugar. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone needs it. energized, right. I mean, the thing is, is we're talking about, you know, processed sugar, really. You can have sugar. It just comes in the form of natural sources. So a lot of my clients are like, oh my gosh, I need to cut out sugar completely. I'm so stressed out. And you have those diets, those fad diets where they say, don't eat any fruit, don't have any sugar right. at all. We've heard that. It's not about no sugar. It's just about the best source that you can have. What's wrong mm -hmm. with the processed sugar that we need to leave it alone more for? Just the word processed mm -hmm. is, is, is kind of like what I say to people. Just the word processed in itself. But at the same time, the digestibility of it is not as good as just a natural source and you're also your body wants to store it in the abdomen so, so that's why we get our little pooches and you mm -hmm. crave it too like the, the processed sugars you yes. crave I, yeah. I heard it was like three weeks or something once you stop eating those processed sugars where you lose that whole craving thing. yes is it that depends true? on how much sugar you have in your diet now okay but most of my clients two to four weeks yeah, it takes. yeah and what do we sure. substitute it with because I saw on your list some things I didn't know about like I knew about you know agave and mm -hmm. maple syrup but what are some of the other things so my favorite is actually dried fruit Oh. So the thing is, though, with dried fruit, a lot of them have sugar added to them. Right. I heard a, there was a lot of sugar. I yes. always stay away from them. So Made in Nature is one of my favorite brands, and that's why I brought them today, because there's no sugar added to it. Oh. You have to read the label. And if you look at it, the sugar content is not as high as some other... Not at all. And yeah. they're processed naturally. So a lot of times uh, they add in too many sulfites and sulfates into dried fruit as well. So it becomes... You can open them. Oh, good. I was the like, dried I'm apples dry. are my favorite. <laughs> that's I what I went dates. for. I'm hungry. Which I kind have is a that? cherry chia seed pudding. Yeah, so chia seed pudding is very popular mm. right now. I did a chocolate, dark chocolate cherry chia seed pudding, mm. which is one of my favorite recipes. Ooh. But I use dates to sweeten it. You can use dried oh. apples too. It's completely up to you. Figs are another. Figs are actually beauty inducing, so they're very good for the skin. They promote collagen. We all love oh, that, right? That Forget the Botox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, for dried fruit, the most important thing is no sugar added when you're buying it. Then I made a an avocado-based chocolate mousse. Oh, yeah. So it's avocado, and then I use raw cacao. So you're using less sugar. So when you use processed chocolate too, don't forget there's sugar in there. So using mm. the raw cacao. And then I use maple syrup oftentimes for that, or mm. coconut nectar is one of my favorite things. I've never heard coconut of that. It's, it's so natural. Coconut's all the rage anyway. It's very healthy. Um, but coconut nectar is very unprocessed. So it's very unrefined. Do you have to use less of these particular types of, of No, sometimes sweeteners? more. Okay. Sometimes more. Sugar itself, and now we're used to sugar replacement. So like the diet soda effect, you have a diet soda, it's yeah. fake sugar. You ha you want to have more diet soda, but you also have that sweetness factor. Because like it's a so Splenda. super sweet. Mm -hmm. Got like it. A, like a fake sugar, it has a sweetness level that's so high that sometimes you need like a quarter cup of something just to equal one packet mm -hmm. of, a, of a fake what is, sugar. What wow. is a coconut so, nectar? Do you have it right here? So coconut nectar is right here. Oh, I just want to see. Okay, oh, it looks so like syrup. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, it's I, just like maple syrup, essentially. Oh. Oh. Except it's a little bit less of a sugar profile, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit okay. less refined. So I love that. But maple sh maple syrup is perfect, and agave, very similar. A lot of liquid sugars are automatically going to be healthier than than the granule sugars. Interesting. And I use pitaya fruit, so dragon fruit. Oh, this okay. is like a smoothie bowl and a pudding. So you can make it thicker with more banana or you can make it less thick. And I use hemp milk again, but it's always unsweetened. No added sugar to the hemp milk. Now wait, why is the hemp milk better for this particular? Because for me, I don't like to use a lot of dairy, mm -hmm. but you're getting less sugars when you use an unsweetened milk versus a milk that has vanilla in it already I or see. is flavored. And I just use vanilla extract then. So it's all about just watching where the sugars come from. But like applesauce, um, bee free honey for vegans who don't like to use honey, but then also raw honey. Wait, so bee I just free melt it. Honey? Yeah, let's bee go back to that for a second. Isn't that fun? What does so that look mean? at that. Essentially, it's just another hard source um, of honey. It's, it's just, it's basically a agave but harder uh, so it's, okay. you know the, okay. there's thicker sugar sources like dried fruit um, there's the syrups like maple um, syrup and coconut nectar you can really you can't go wrong with any of them but you have to taste adjust to what you what you right. want and pick up mm. the one that works for you yes. I really like agave nectar but I, I'm willing to try this other these other options because you know I mean a different yeah, flavor I mean, and something sense. that you get tired of the coconut nectar is new for us because we yeah. never and the hemp milk too I mean it's been like almond milk and it's been yeah. coconut yeah. It's, and then know, there was all these stories about almond milk recently
recently that I'm like, maybe the hemp sounds better now. I well, don't automatically know. almond milk, if you're if you're already getting fat in your diet, mm -hmm. then you don't necessarily need to add in another major fat. Oh, so, so a nut source is is fatty. So going away from sugar and then talking about fat, um, hemp milk or oat milk, they're generally they're not based off of a fat. So I just opt oh. for those because I get fat in other in other ways. In my That's diet. what we need. Yeah, we don't want to add more fat. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. This is some new ideas. <laughs> Love them all. If you want more information, all you have to do is log on to AshleyPettitLiving.com. Thanks so much, Ash. Good Thank to see you. you. As always. Good to see you too.